Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video. This time it's going to be a question for the grade 12, and this one was question 8 done in September 2023 in the Eastern Cape province. This one is about electric circuit. But before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video so you can get all the notifications I post on regular basis. This question says three resistors and an electrical device rated 16 watt are connected to a battery of EMF 36 volt and a no internal resistance R is shown in the circuit diagram below. A meters A2 read 2 amperes, um, 2 amperes there, um, when the switch S is closed. This is the question and this is the diagram you have there. Question 8.1, define the term EMF of the battery in words. So let's write that definition real fast here. And this state that the EMF is the total energy per column of charge that the battery can supply. There are two marks for the definition and it's an important definition. Question 8.2, calculate the resistance of the electrical device there. All right, let's do that one, but let's notice that the current will flow in this direction and then it's going to split that side and this side. So the current that is going to be through the uh, 16 uh, watt device is going to be in this direction which is the same because they are in series so for this question we can use the power which is what we know this one is the power that is um, that this device has the current is 2 meters and we can use the formula of power but let me show you real fast here are the formulas all these formulas have power involved but the one that is going to help us is this one because we have the current and we have the power we're looking for resistance quite simple guys Let's do it on this side. Try always to, uh, this one is question 8.2.1. Try always to look for the formula. So power is equal to current to the power two multiplied by R. We are going to substitute the exactly as it is here. This one is 16 and is equal to current, which is two square multiplied by R. Guys, R will be equal to four ohm. It's a very simple calculation. I don't think there is a need for us to go to a new page or anything like that. Mark one for the formula, which you go and get there, one for the whole substitution, and one for the final answer, the three mark for that. Calculate the current passing through the battery here. Okay, so how are we going to approach this question? We need to calculate the current that is flowing through the system, which in other words is the total current. So to do this one, we are going to use the external circuit we have here. We are not going to use the internal circuit, because we don't know the internal resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is to calculate the potential difference from this side of the circuit, which we already know the resistance here, okay? So in this side of the circuit, which I'm going to divide here, this side of the circuit that we're working with this resistance, the total resistance for this side here, our total will be equal to eight plus four, and that is equal to 12 ohm. All right, we're working with this part of the circuit here, All right? This part here. There we go. Using that one, we already have the current. We can calculate the potential difference using Ohm's law for part of the circuit. So using that one, we're going to use Ohm's law for part of the circuit. Let me just show you again. In case you are not sure, here is the uh, Ohm's law for part of the circuit. You know, let's write it like that and substitute exactly as it is there. So it's the resistance is equal to a potential difference divided by a current. Let's substitute the resistance is 12. The potential difference we're looking for that and the current is going to be a two. So if we calculate this one, we get that the potential difference on this side is 24. Potential difference for this side of the circuit is 24 volts. Okay, now because this other side of the circuit is in parallel to this one, I mean this 10, this 10 is in parallel, remember the current split in this side, then it coming together here once more. So this 10 is in parallel to that 8 and the device. The potential difference for this 10, for this 10 here, is also going to be 24 volt for this 10 because it is in parallel to that side of the circuit and the potential difference in a in a parallel circuit is the same okay so using that we may calculate the current that is flowing through the 10 ohm resistor using exactly the same formula so let's do that real fast and then do it in this small side here so we're using the same formula as we did use here guys resistance is equal to potential difference um, divided by current so we're going to use it here on 
top we're going to say uh, resistance is equal to potential difference divided by a current the resistance is 10 i am working with the 10 ohm resistor here guys i'm working with that one here which is in parallel remember that one is equal to potential difference which is calculated by us is 24 and the current is what we are looking for if we rearrange this one we get that current is equal to 2,4 ohm 2,4 ohm now what we have we have the current that is going through this side here which is 2,4 ohm we have the current that is going through that side there when they come back here they adding up so it's the total current that one will be the total current is quite simple so let's calculate the total current here at this point total current there which in other words is the current through a1 okay let's do it here i total i'm going to write external but it's the same it's equal to um two plus 2,4 and the total current external is equal to 4,4 ampere this current is the current that is flowing through a1 and is also the total current or the car the current that flow through the internal circuit now how do we get marks in this question because it's a little bit of everything and this question is right here this one is 8.2.2 okay it's part of the question this side here as well as this side here okay so now how do we mark this one let me help you. one mark for a calculating for this formula here and one mark for this substitution one mark for this substitution on this side there when you calculate the current one mark for the addition and one mark for the final answer three four and five marks it's a lot of mark and it's no that bad i hope you understand the good news is that the video can always be rewind and then move and, and replay everything okay let's go to the last question here of the calculation calculate the internal resistance of the battery guys now it's quite simple we have the emf we have the current flowing through the internal resistance and we have everything here so let's go to solve that question. Let's use this little space here. Now that is going to be question 8.2.3. Now what formula we're going to use? We're going to use Ohm's law for the whole circuit. Once more, let me show you. This one is the question of the formula we're going to be using right now. All right, that formula is EMF. is equal to a current, which we know, multiplied by the uh, internal resistance plus the external resistance or external resistance plus internal resistance now we do have everything however we don't have the total external resistance here so let's calculate that one remember the external resistance will be the total external resistance will be the addition of a series circuit resistance plus the parallel resistance so if we go here what do we have we have this side here which is in parallel this side here which we already marked which is in parallel but within the same part you have a series private part which is the eight and the device okay so the two of them are in parallel but eight and the device are in series so let's calculate that parallel resistor first of all and let's um, do it right here we know that one divided by rp is equal to one over r1 plus one over r two okay so we go back here r1 is going to be the 10 for instance so it's going to be one divided by 10 and r2 remember is the series of eight and the device which we already were with that one we already were with that one you know it was a 24 because it's four plus eight uh, pardon it's 12 it's 12 it's eight plus four not 24 24 is is, is the voltage is 12 there we go sorry about that so it's 12 plus one divided by 12 guys and this one is equal to 11 over 60. now when you solve this one remember rp will be 11 over 60 to the minus one okay and that will give you which is 5,45 5 comma 45 ohm that is the resistance in parallel when you go to add the resistor in series if you go back to the circuit is 2 ohm guys so this one will be equal to 2 plus 5 
comma 45 okay this will give you 7 comma um, 45 ohm that is the external resistance now we do have everything we are going to real fast substitute everything we have here the emf is 36 the current was calculated let's quickly go back to the total current is 4 comma 4 bracket the resistance is 7 comma 45 plus little r which is what we are looking for and this one is a um, real easy math you should get that the internal resistance is equal to 0 comma 73 ohm guys it is really really easy i hope you understand that now when you do this just to help you to see the marking there is one mark for writing the formula of the parallel circuit the formula this formula there for the parallel resistance there is one mark for the substitution for this little substitution here there is a one mark for this formula obvious it's an important formula in this case there is a mark for a substitution here one mark for the substitution of the 7,45 and one mark for the final answer that gives us six marks it's a lot of marks here for this question and it's really easy question 8.3 say the switch s is now open so they're going to open switch s and switch s is right here let me show you there is switch s they're going to open so the current will not flow there all the current will come in this direction there okay how will this affect the reading of the ammeter a1 here what happened to a1 there okay choose from increase decrease or remain the same and explain your answer okay now before we explain let's see what happened to everything there's important thing that we need to know and we're going to use this formula that we have here okay we are going to use that formula i'm going to rewrite the formula here for that one e is equal to i that multiply r plus bracket little r okay so let's see what is happening here first of all the emf stay constant it doesn't matter if you open the circuit or you change the circuit the emf stay constant as well as the internal resistance stay constant okay so internal resistance stayed constant now okay if you rearrange this one for current you get that current is equal to emf divided by r plus little r okay now when you open that switch there the total resistance of the circuit is going to increase so the external resistance remember the i stay constant the the e stays constant as well as the small r but big r here is going to increase this one here increase so what happened to the current now compared to before you will divide eh? you are dividing and the same number as before which was emf was the same by a bigger number therefore the current will be smaller than before the answer is decrease then you will get one mark for saying decrease and then the explanation is what i'm saying here with the uh, internal resistance is constant the emf is constant the total resistance increase that's important for saying the, uh, the total internal the total uh, external resistance increase therefore the current will be smaller guys this is the work i hope you understand it's a very good question with a lot of calculations but um is not that bad thank you for watching thumb up subscribe for the channel if you didn't yet i'll see you next time next time we're going to be answering the question nine which is related to um current alternative current and and so on and thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time mr g here